Hello there, welcome back to my channel. I am leaning on the Chanel box as I speak to you because what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I just, I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's just get into the video. Hello there, thanks for joining me. Um, <laughs> This, I apologise in advance that this video is likely to be all over the place because I haven't even thought in my head what I'm going to say to you guys. Um, I'm just like, okay, so we have a Chanel reveal. It's not an unboxing. I only tell you it's a true unboxing. If it is, I've obviously already opened it. Um, and don't get me wrong, a Chanel <laughs> reveal unboxing is normally on this channel and is on this channel. A fabulous, wonderful, exciting experience. I love doing unboxings. I love buying handbags, but I think I've lost my mind. I just don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Um, let's just get into it. So there is the rather large Chanel box. And don't get me wrong, this is not about what's inside. I am absolutely over the moon, in love, adore, so happy to be sharing with you what I have found and is in my collection. But when you got stick with me, you're going to see why I think I've lost my marbles completely. Let's jump straight into the reveal and then we'll go with the drama and tell you what the crack is. Revealing to you, my friends on the internet, and one thing I want to say is I did a video recently and I will link it above talking about and reacting to Person Flex video about saying goodbye to Hermes. And I made that video really to give my view, but also to say that we need to have a wider conversation because the comments and the abuse that Mel took on that video were simply uncalled for. Now, regardless of what your view was about how she'd handled it, she was getting threats and, you know, to her family and her children and come on. But me, like E2, who's here on YouTube, whose channel I watch, made a really, really good point. And Mel's video took off. And she made the point that, do you not think that it's because her video took off and there were a lot of people on the channel watching that video that weren't in this luxury community? And I think that's a really, really good point. And the reason I say that is because how I have this little beauty to reveal to you and that I've sent myself into an absolute spin over is because of how wonderful this luxury community is. This bag, okay, so revealing to you. <laughs> oh my goodness, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Okay, so revealing to you the Chanel 19 in the small in the hound's tooth tweed that I was dying for. I was dying for this bag. This bag was top of my wish list, has been top of my wish list. And because it was top of my wish list and because I have said in so many videos that I was dying for this bag, this bag went for sale on one of the Facebook closed Chanel seller groups. And the seller is a little Winnie who's absolutely lovely. And I will link her YouTube, no, that's wrong. I will link her Instagram in the description. And I will link it because firstly, you guys would message me quite a lot to say, is this a safe seller or have you any experience of this or have you any um, advice or any options in respect of buying Chanel bags? And Winnie's Instagram cha channel, not channel, I say can't even speak. Winnie's Instagram page would be quite small per Instagram standard. So if I had just come across it on that, I would have been weary. And indeed, whenever it was on the Facebook seller group, I had let Winnie know that I would take the bag if the checks checked out. So I did some uh, investigation and got some seller reviews. Got a lot of seller reviews actually, because she's actually sold quite a lot in the Facebook groups and they were all very, very positive. And then I got a Zico authentication certificate for this. So it's 100% authentic and got it checked. So all of that checked out. Now we'll leave that down below so as you guys can include Winnie on your seller pages if you're looking at Chanel. But when she posted this, I'm not actually in that Facebook group, which is probably a good thing. Because I said in one of my videos about my bank manager my bank manager having a fit and he's going to have even more of a fit now. Because, yeah, now I'm in the Chanel seller group on Facebook page. But anyway, so whenever this beauty came up and you wonderful people knew that this had been top of my wish list for so long, 
I got a few messages from you saying, look, this is for sale. This is for sale, but it's just been posted. You need to go quick. One of you wonderful people was so intent on letting me know that, that you DM'd me on Instagram and also sent me an email saying urgent in the subject box to let me know that this was for sale. And I think that's absolutely amazing. And I just want to say thank you for that because that is just this community looking out for each other and letting people know things they've been looking after. And I think it shows the flip side of what Mel went through. And I wanted to say that and I wanted to thank you all for taking the time to let me know. And I also want to acknowledge the real positivity in the community that came from that. We'll not go into what the bank man says, but, but the positivity that came from that. So... <laughs> Yeah, dogs don't make those noises. So the Chanel 19 in the small size in the houndstooth tweed. Now, the reason I'm having a slight fit over here, if you have watched my other videos, is because... Mm. What have I done? What have I done? I can't be trusted. I've told you before, I can't be trusted. This is why all my money stays separate, because I can't be trusted. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm just looking at them in the viewfinder and they're both so stunning. But they be the same. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, that's why I'm going a bit like, what have I done? So this is the Chanel walk, the Chanel 19 walk in the beautiful houndstooth tweed with the little SLG that hangs from it that I know is, is Split's opinion, but it comes off as detachable. And then this is the small 19. If you watched the very dramatic video of this whenever I first came across this tweed and realised how pretty she is and how much I love it, you will know that I was a dramatic mess. And I had said in that video that one, I couldn't find this, which is the small 19, which was the size, to be fair, that had been top of my wish list and was the bag that I had initially wanted, but I couldn't find it. So I had went for this and I had also went for this because this sells at a premium and I'm not going to lie to you, I paid a premium for it. It sells at a premium. I do not think you could get an authentic one of these that was not at a premium. So I had bought this because I didn't know if I would pay the price for this. <laughs> Wasn't that a gig? <laughs> Wasn't that a bit of crack? Yeah. I didn't know if I would pay the price for this because it's at a premium and I couldn't find it. So I bought this. And I bought this because I really, really like mini bags. I've never had a walk before. I'd never tried a walk before, but I really like mini small bags. I had originally thought walks weren't for me, but I tried this one out because I loved the tweed that much. Then when I got it, I really, really loved it. I like how it sits. I like that it's small. I like that it's neat and uncompact. The only thing I will say about it is I would like to get the chain shortened if I was keeping this bag. I don't know what I'm doing because I'm a blundering mess. So if I was keeping this, I would like the chain shortened. Then this came up and this is the, look at her shining. Look at that glitter tweed. Like I am telling you folks, this tweed is stunning. I, I personally think it's one of the best tweeds that uh, Chanel have ever done. And that little black and white beauty that's sitting up there above my head, I adore, absolutely adore. But this tweed is just, it's stunning. It's so, so stunning. And it still makes me laugh because when I unboxed this, people had said to me, I can see the frogs and the cats in the print. And that makes me giggle, but I still absolutely love it. I love this tweed. Look at her glit. Look at the glitter. When I do that, you can just see the metallic thread going through her. I love the big strap at the back. It's the classic small 19. I, I have put inside, because I like it a little bit structured than it is without it is the organizer that I have in my black 19 obviously if this is the one I was keeping I would not have a red organizer I would get one in a tonal color but I now have both and I I don't know what to do I I'm going to be honest with you I adore both of them I love this one this was the one that was originally on my wish list it sits obviously a bit shorter than this one does. It sits probably slightly shorter than if I had my absolute dream Chanel 19. It would sit that little bit longer, but it's a bigger bag. It holds so much more. It's a handbag. This is a wallet on a chain. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. I, I love the chain. I love all about it. I just think it's absolutely fabulous and it came wonderfully packaged. I'm going to put a picture in to show you how it was packaged because as I say, I, I, did, I lost my mind when this arrived and I opened it before I didn't film the unboxing. Um, Deal had said to me, send me a picture because she knew about it. And I said, I can't. I'm that beyond myself. I haven't even taken a picture yet because what have I done? So 
I put the picture in to show. I also want to show you because I thought this was so sweet. This came as a gift um, from Winnie whenever she sent it. And I don't know if you're gonna see it across, but it says Amelia Rose's closet across that. And I just think that's really lovely, that little personalized gift. There were a few other personalized gifts in the box as well. And that came with the purchase. And I think that's a really nice touch. This is obviously not sponsored. I obviously bought this with my own money, hence the breakdown. But um, it's I just thought they were nice touches and that you guys should know about it. <sighs> there we go, folks. Revealing to you the Chanel 19 and the Houndstooth tweed in the small. And reminding you that I already own the walk in the Houndstooth tweed in the exact same print. And yeah, I know, and Laura said to me, they're different bags, you know, for different reasons, but they're both expensive and they're exact same tweed and I've lost my mind and I don't know what to do. And I'm sorry that this video is all over the place, but there you go. Oh, I, I don't know. I just, I'm, I haven't been... And if you guys have watched on my channel, I very recently bought a, another bag that was on my wish list, the Trendy. And I don't get, I haven't went out of the funds that I have that are specifically for my spending money funds. Um, you know that I sold a lot of things at the start of the year. I could sell some more, um, but certainly selling them topped those funds up. It's not that I have went into money that I shouldn't have spent for this. That's not what this is because I do not do that. This is just being a bit like, I bought, you know, I bought this one and I bought the trendy and now I've bought this one and this one was premium and, and oh, my little head is spinning. Um, probably not the best business decisions I've ever made in my life. But I have a whole other channel over there where I talk to you guys about finance and making smart decisions and, you know, hello. So anyway, this is her. This is the small 19. She is, she's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. Um jump into the comment box tell me what you think tell me what you would do tell me what you think I should do tell me if you think I'm absolutely nuts but we already know that um there you go thank you so much for watching me I'm sorry this has been a bit of blur because I am all over the place thank you so much for watching me thank you for being here please take care and I'll see you again in the next one when hopefully I will have righted my mind and make a little bit more sense and be a little bit more concise in my speech thank you so much take care have a great weekend and I'll see you soon